time ago in a galaxy not so far away. Lego released this set. It is set number 9748. It was released in, two, in the year 2000. And it was called the Droid Developer Kit. Now, one of the main parts of it was... Well, the main part of it was this R2-D2 model. Of course, some pieces went missing, so we had to replace those. But that doesn't matter. The main thing remained the same. So, right now, I can show you... Let's just turn it on. This is the Droid. Turned on. Let's just select the first one, just for now. If you want to see how it works, just um, there probably is plenty of other videos, but I'll just show you the first program running. Well, you can see that, that is all it could do. Move backwards. There were obviously other programs, like there's seven programs and then one for other builds, I'm pretty sure. But we weren't happy with it. We weren't satisfied. So it was good, it was all fun, but we got, well, we got bored of it after a little bit. Be because we couldn't really make our own. This was, this was all, this was it. So we thought, we, we should motorize it. So add like some motors so that we can actually control it instead of only being able to go backwards this way and forwards this way. It was all really limited. So we decided that we're going to give it a go. We're going to try and, um, well, use a remote, give it some motors, and then we can uh, actually control it. So that's exactly what we did. There's an instruction of how to do it at the end of the video, and this is what it looked like. Okay, so this is the changed version, the one that, well, we alternated so that it can actually, we, we actually control it with this controller right here. It's a simple power functions controller. So right now, if I, yes, I remember correctly, right now I have hooked it up so that the blue is the actual movement forwards and backwards. And the red is the movement left and right. So now if I actually press both at the same time, for example, it will start spinning. So that is the R2-D2 that has been changed so we can actually control it. So this is it. But how exactly does it work? Well, I mean, you'd probably guess that, well, forwards, backwards, and sideways, it's pretty much obvious, you know, using the remote. But the, the, the interesting thing is how it actually works. So all of the movement and everything is controlled by this front leg here. The movement forwards and backwards is done by this motor, and movement sideways is done by this motor at the back. Well, due to the size of um, R2-D2's shell, we did have slight problems, uh, mainly size. And how are we going to solve that little bit of, that is the only thing that moves. Because if you look at the back, this is all free. It doesn't actually get controlled. It, 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 nothing is stopped from those wheels to move. And it would have been interesting, well, it would have been quite hard and quite ugly if we had a bunch of gears running down the side here. I'll show you on this side, right there. It, it would not have looked good. So like this, we, we solved it. The way it works is if I just uh, open up the front right now and take off the foot part, is there is this little part which can move, like rotate on itself. There is an axle going through from the motor down to here, and this is the gear that controls this gear, which moves this gear, which moves the wheel. Uh, just uh, noting that this large wheel is, isn't needed, it's just there for aesthetics, Don't, you know, just for the looks. Doesn't have any function at all. Anyway, so that's how that is solved, and the way the turning is solved is by this 
little gear part, you will see that in the instruction later on, is moved by this gear here at the back, which is connected to the other motor, which controls the sideways movement. Now I'll just uh, close R2 back up and put on the foot. So that is R2-D2, the modified version. I hope you did like it. And well, if you did like it, please do subscribe and leave a like. Again, if you liked it, then there is an instruction later on of how you can build this yourself. The only thing is, you're gonna, it's gonna be a huge help if you actually have the model itself, because if you don't, well, you're gonna have essential pieces missing for the actual set, for the actual shell part. But of course, you can try and hunt it down on all sorts of uh, web pages like eBay and stuff like that. Anyway. So do give it a try. As I mentioned earlier, there is a copy, well, not a copy, there, there is an instruction, a bunch of pictures. Just, just go through, pause it here and there, and you can build the entire thing. It shows this this center section, the foot itself, and how to connect it to the, to, to the, to the shell, to the shell. Anyway, so if you did like it, please do leave a like and, well, subscribe. Well, see you in the next video. Goodbye.